what's good with y'all in today's video i got a shift to sprint with an animation with an animation i'm going to show you guys how to do i've gotten this video requested probably like a couple times i've definitely seen people comment under my how to make a shift to sprint video uh the updated version as well as the old version from i think it's been almost two years or maybe it's only been like a year and a half but I've definitely seen people request that I uh, make one with an animation or they generally were asking me how to make one with an animation. So I'll be showing you guys how simply you, you hold down the shift key while you're holding down shift key or, or really any key. You guys can change the key to whatever you want. Uh, your player is able to run as well as you can choose what animation you want to play while the player is running. Right. It's really simple and stuff. So let's get straight into it. All right. So first things first, you want to head on over to starter player right you're gonna want two look you're gonna want two local scripts and starter character scripts right now not sure if all of like if you it to the okay i'm not sure if you know what the animate script is if you don't know what this script is this is a default roblox script it's pretty much the script that handles all the animations and stuff for your player you simply want to just go in a studio click play once you've loaded in a studio Go to workspace, go to your find your character, scroll down to you see animate, then you want to right click, copy, or just select it, and then you can press copy in the top left. And then you just want to paste it right here. That's all, and that's how you get the script. That's how you retrieve the script. That's all you gotta do right there, right? And then the only thing you have to edit on the script, because I know it's a long script, it's a lot, it's literally hundreds of lines, so it may look a little confusing. All you gotta do is just scroll down to line 40, right? We see run well more like 41 but same thing uh so run right now i know it looks a little different you're probably wondering why mine says you know http like a link rather than i think it said before like xml like you see something that says xml you want to replace that with this like this entire thing everything up to the equal sign right you want to replace it with this then right here you would put your animation id if you don't know how to get your animation ID, you go to the Roblox website, um, you go to create, and then you go to developer assets or products, I think. And then you, you scroll over and you see animations. Then you just click it and then and you just copy and paste the numbers in the URL. That's how you would get your animation ID. But yeah, you put your animation ID right here where it says run, which says run, and it's that simple. Well, at least for this part of the script. And that's all you have to change for animate. Now, for run animation script, all we need to do is get the user input service. Then we need to create the animation. So same thing as what I told you guys to do on the other script. You're just you're just putting in the link for it as well as the ID. Then when the player holds down shift, you're changing the walk speed. You guys can change this value if you want. And then we're playing the animation. Then then we're gonna wait until the walk speed is back to 16, which when we let go of whatever key you have assigned to shift to uh not shift to sprint it'll set the walk speed back to 16 or whatever your default walk speed is it once the walk speed has been reset it will stop the animation track it'll disable the animate script this is the script that handles all the players or characters animations it'll disable it then re-enable it after now to pretty much explain what what that means because you're probably thinking why would you want to disable the script that controls animations okay so pretty much you're kind of overriding the script by doing this by the method i use and stuff if i find if i figure out something uh better then i'll definitely uh i'll definitely make an updated video but pretty much you're overriding the current animation by playing this animation you're overriding the current run animation with whatever animation you desired put for uh your sprint animation and then by stopping it, it would glitch your character kind of. So by disabling the animate script, you're pretty much going to set the animation back to default. So your player will just go back to normal, back to whatever the default uh, walk animation is and stuff. So yeah, let me show you guys, show you guys it works. So this animation is in mine, is in mine by the way. I just found this because because um, obviously I'm not an animator. So, okay, so if I hold shift, as you guys can tell, I'm obviously running. This isn't the default Roblox run animation. So I let go of shift, I go back to walking, and my animations are back as normal. See, I can jump, everything is everything is the same. Auto animation, everything is the same. And yeah, it's that simple. Now, you could leave off the animation track stop, 
like you could leave that part off but the only thing is uh it would look it would look re like it would look glitchy like pretty much when you let go of shift you see how like i like my player smoothly like returns back to like you know like just standing standing uh straight up like it's like it's smooth like it's like looks like it's like animated rather than like just teleporting yeah it would look kind of glitchy because it would just go straight from this animation to this so it look a little glitchy hence why you want to put the animation you want to stop the animation itself but yeah i hope this video was helpful if it was leave a like and subscribe links to join my roblox group and discord can find in the description down below thank you guys for i think we're at like a thousand and forty subscribers thank you thank you i really do appreciate it i hope uh, we're close to, i hope we hit 1100 soon because you know july is about to start and you know i got some good videos coming out for y'all appreciate you guys for watching if you want to become a channel member uh, the link is in the description. You can get access to this script as well as my other scripts and models. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.